Hi, my name is Nick Fitzgerald, and I want to tell you about a new debugger feature for Firefox 25 called Blackboxing. Firefox 25 is currently in the Aurora release channel. In modern web development, we often rely on third-party libraries like jQuery. 99% of the time, we can safely assume that they just work, and we can treat them like a black box. When you don't want to expose the internals of a library, you can black box it by clicking on the little eyeball. The debugger won't pause in black box sources. To show how useful this can be, let's contrast it to the debugging experience without black boxing. This is the backbone version of the to-do MVC project. Let's find the to-dos collection, which has a method called completed that we want to debug. There's our breakpoint. Now let's hit it. The completed method calls the backbone collections filter method which then in turn calls underscores filter method, which finally calls the predicate that we passed in originally. There's a ton of unfamiliar library code that we don't care about, but are forced to step through to get to our own code and continue debugging. We can open the developer toolbar by pressing Shift F2 and use the dbg blackbox command to blackbox many sources at once. This application uses Bower to manage dependencies, so we know that all third-party libraries will have the string Bower in their URL path. Note that underscore, jQuery, and Backbone are all blackboxed now. Let's try debugging again. This time, when we step in our completed method, we actually step directly into the filter predicate. No more mucking about with backbone and underscore. We skipped right through them and into the part of the code that we actually care about. Thanks for watching. I'm really excited about blackboxing, and I hope my excitement has infected you as well. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Firefox DevTools, and share your thoughts with us. See ya!